I literally have nothing to say, but I made this. And then once I finished making that, I make this. And once I was done making this, I made this. And once I was done making this, I have these leave over. And then I use these to make this. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shane is Home DIY and Crafts. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a front porch sign okay and here is what i have layover and these are the leftover wood from all the previous projects you seen i shown you earlier that i've made all summer okay so there's more to it but i just made i'm just showing you those because the wood that i'm using for this is the leftover wood from those and this is why i do not throw away anything scrap wood nothing i'm a hoarder i keep them you see that garage doesn't look anything like that now i can park in it as we're getting closer to the winter right now guys it's like 29 degree up here up north doesn't feel like it's fall it's actually winter versus fall anywho it's enough of that so here i am i have these pieces of wood and i have other pieces of wood other pieces of wood okay from other projects so what i did is i just kind of like cut off that top piece i didn't show you guys that because i know you guys are tired of you seeing me using a saw so i just cut that top part off get everything nice and straight then i'm lining it up of course you guys already know if you're not new year my driveway is shitty and nobody wants to sponsor me to get it done because it's too long um so i have to find a flat surface which was the garage to put this down and make sure everything lines up okay and once everything lines up like i need it there we go we get our screw gun we get some screw and we get a piece of wood from like scrap wood and we're going to screw that together to hold them together every piece of wood that i'm using here for this sign is exterior wood it's literally leftover fence posts you could never even tell i'm starting to think because i used to i make these wood signs to, and i was for my side so i sell them and wood aren't cheap so i'm you know this was a trial to see how this wood does because I may start using these type of wood to make it so I could sell them cheaper. Because wood ain't cheap. And um, people like them, but sometimes the prices are up there. And I'm not budging for my time. Because guess what? My time is important. And my time, I can't waste it. It's very important. And um, wood is expensive. So, you know, I'm going to see how this hold up. So that's all I'm doing. I'm getting pieces of scrap wood, screwing from one side to the other. And the other side to the other to make sure it doesn't fall apart. And as you guys seen, if you're new here... My name is Shayna. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If you're not new year, welcome back and thank you guys so, so much for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you guys all the way to the moon and back. And also, I just want to sing my little welcome song for those new followers. And I want to say, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, that's all you're getting for now, okay? So, anywho, let's look at Fiona. She's something else, boy. She's like the foreman. Somebody watched my last video and said, I didn't see the foreman. I'm like, she there. You probably just skipped past that part that she was. Or I didn't make it to the end of the video because she was there. Anywho, don't skip through the video, guys. Just let it play out, okay? Appreciate it. But if you don't want to watch it, then it is what it is. But I appreciate if you don't skip through them and you let them go on out. Anywho, now we got that together. We're checking it out to make sure everything is fine and i'm just putting that in the front so that's what it looks like it looks all it looks okay you know it looks really okay so you want to find the best part of your wood to use to the front so that's what i did so i felt like i needed two more pieces of wood so i did two more pieces in the middle there and life is good so once i'm done i took it outside out front here we are and i am going to be using a min wax stain in the color of dark walnut to stain this wood i'm not going to use any wood conditioner on it because it's not the most smooth wood and i ain't going to sand it down either because that's extra work and i'm making this for myself believe it or not i make a lot of these to sell have none for myself i'm lying i have two for myself but the two that i have for myself was hand painted i have one for fall and one for christmas and if you're interested in seeing my hand painting one speaking of that it's in my fall playlist i'm probably going to have that in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out okay but these i use vinyl and stuff but the hand painted one are way more expensive because it's my time i don't mess with my time so i try to just use the vinyl and it's been working and holding by so far my customers doesn't have any problem with them so it's cheaper too for them to use the vinyl versus making the stents with the vinyl or the def i don't need to go into all of that because i'm not doing that but anywho's 
um, versus hand painting. So here we are. We're putting our gloves on and we're making sure that we don't get gloves on our hand we're using a piece of cloth. You could use whatever you please, a brush. You could use a paint brush. You could use a paper towel. But like I said, these wood are not the most smoothest wood ever and they're exterior wood. So I'm going for the piece of cloth. And I'm just taking my stain and I'm wiping it nicely. Now, the more, the darker you want it to be, the more stain you put on. The lighter, you wipe off more stain. So I'm putting a small amount of stain and I'm wiping that off. And you got to make sure you get your size and everything, okay? You don't have to do the back. I don't do the back of my sign because who's going to look at it? Unless a customer requests double-sided um, double sided, um, sign, so then I'll do double-sided sign. Because some people want one side to say fall, one side to have Christmas. And then some people just prefer a regular sign that they could use all year round. And some people just prefer a regular sign with a bunch of different um, ribbons and bows and yada, yada, yada. So that's all I'm doing. Wiping the stain on. And yeah, it's really easy. Nothing to it. It's very simple. Just wipe it on. Look at that poor table. It used to be wood and black. No, it looks all brown. That's from me doing my window shutters. So yeah, that's just it. So guys, you want to hear something about me? So like when people reach out to me about my signs and I tell them the price and you could tell that they're saying, oh my God, that's too much money. I like to send them my videos like you guys could make it yourself. You know, this is why I do videos. So you so to, to help you. I may not speak good English. No, I may not sound clear. I may not pronounce word clear, but I know you guys understand me. OK. And if you don't understand what I'm doing, just watch the body language. Just watch the body language. Okay, so I often send them that. So after that's dry, see me wearing different clothes. Leave it to dry. Went to work on another day, and it's fully dry. I let it dry for a good 48 hours, I think. Yeah, 48 hours I let it dry. And then I went inside, and I went to use my Cricut. I did not do that part with my Cricut, but I used my Cricut maker to create my sign. And I know somebody's going to ask me the font. Because that's something I've learned over my other videos that are going crazy with people watching them. They're asking me the font because I never thought that I should put the font in them. And then years later, do you think I remember that? Absolutely not. However, I do not have the font in front of me. However, it's going to be in a pinned comment, I promise. A pinned comment. And in the description box below, I'm going to write that all out for you guys to show you, to let you know what font I use. So I am making this sign and this sign is going to be for my home. Okay. So all it's going to say is home and the year that I bought the house. Okay. And because I have a dog, of course, we got to put a little papa, a little papa inside of it versus just putting the hole. So I decided to change the O and put my papa. And up top is just going to say, welcome to our home. Okay. So. This was a quick and easy project, and that's why, again, like, like I said, guys, any type of spear wood you have, don't throw them away. This is why I don't throw away anything. I'm a hoarder. I keep them all because I got everything has potential. So all I'm doing, I use my transfer tape, and then make sure your wood is all cleaned, okay? Make sure this is cleaned off. So once I use my transfer tape, line up the first thing, the first um, set of our words, how I wanted it. Got to get my little scroogey, and I'm just going to burnish that on now if your sign is dirty guys these this guys if your sign is dirty the vinyl won't stick to it also you could do like at one point i was thinking that oh i think i'm gonna leave that on and then paint over it black so it'll have that brown and black but i'm like no nah. it looks and i wanted to put stuff on i'm like you know what i'm gonna leave it like it is but anywho, that's it you just use your transfer sheet and if you have bigger i use i know somebody is gonna ask me how did i get these cuts so big i have a tw um a 12 by 24 inch mat so i cut two pieces of these on that mat two pieces of each letter those big letters on the mat so because each letter is like 10 they're 10 by um eight by 10 eight inches what am i looking at don't even know <laughs> trying to look through the woods i thought i heard something around it looks like it's all you know something you hear them deers through the woods but anywho, i it's the it's like 10 inches long and eight inches wide and i cut um, two pieces at a time on my 12 by 24 mat. So now I got my H going. I clear that off. And as you see in me, I'm just lining that up. And I'm just going to make sure I get it on nice and tight. Okay. And then I reuse. You guys know, Shana don't throw away anything. I repurpose my transfer sh um, 
tape. I'm going to use that for the whole sign for everything. I'm going to use that to transfer everything, but then I won't use it on another project because it's no good. One thing I will suggest to you guys, if you're going to make this sign, and I've always done that, but because this sign was for me, I didn't do that. If you're going to use vinyl to and leave the vinyl on your sign, you want to put um, your, um, your top coat, which is going to be your polyurethane, over your sign first. But again, because I plan on painting over these, using this as a stencil, and paint it black, and then peel that out, that's why I didn't put my top coat on. But you want to use your top coat on, whether it's your exterior, your regular water-based polyurethane. I use... I use um, water-based polyurethane, and I also use an exterior oil-based polyurethane. So if you want to, you're going to see, keep watching, you'll see. So if you're going to use your vinyl, seal your sign first, put your vinyl on for a better, for a better adhesive and secure, and make, it, make sure it's secure. And then, again, you put another top coat over to seal your vinyl into your wood. Okay? But if you're going to just use it as stencil like I'm doing here, you could do that and then peel it off okay but if you're not gonna do that then you know anywho's yeah so that's that so that's what i would suggest so that's all i'm doing i'm doing nothing different but just using that same carrier transfer tape and using my um god what's the name of that my I, my scoogey sorry my screegee i almost say bougie i'm a respiratory therapist if you guys don't know i'm gonna say bougie is it bougie is something that we use in the earway to open up, help with an uh, earway that's difficult when we're putting our breathing tube down to help people breathe. So anywho, in case you are you wonder what is a bougie, it's not like, oh, she's bougie. No, a bougie is an equipment that we use to put down people's throat to find the uh, their carina and get an ET tube over that so they could breathe. Long story short, our trait. Let's get enough of that. So now we're doing this. So using my squeegee. And I got them on. And it's the same thing. Reusing the sign. It folds up a little. All I did was use the scissors to hold that down and do all that. And of course, you don't have to do this on your sign if you're not comfortable. You could also do it on a table. But of course, I'm doing this outside. So this is what I'm doing. It's doing right on top of that and doing that. Now, I am going to go ahead and uh, the way how I line up my lettering and my wording is because if you guys remember, I used four pieces of leftover wood to create this sign. So I didn't want to put my M right in the creases of where the other, the middle piece, those two pieces come together in the middle. So I did it where it just go right just underneath it so it's not on it. Because I was, I was nervous of, you know, doing that. And then if you do that, then because there's a crease, then your vinyl may have wear, wear, ways for ear to leak under and it get pulled up. Okay? So, and that's all I'm doing. And again, like I'm saying, it's nothing different from, oh, I added the welcome. It's the same thing. But I just have to show you guys because, you know, I have to show you guys. If you notice, I have my tape measurement or my measuring tape. In Jamaica, that's what we call it. I watched somebody else's video and they call it something else. I can't remember the name. Fabric fabric measure or something. I don't remember what they call it, that thing around my neck. But in Jamaica, we call it measuring tape or tape measurement. So those are really cheap at the store, $1.99. But I have that because I wanted to make sure that I have the correct measurement of placing these. But of course, again, as you guys know, if you're not New Year, I'm an eyeballer. So I just eyeball what I was doing and it ended up turning out right. I didn't even use that measuring tape. But if you are new to this and you're not a good eyeballer, then measure and make sure you have the same, you have the same measurement on each side. And again, because I said I was going to use this as a stencil and paint it black. But when I put it on, guys, it looks so nice. After I put it on with the white and I'm, I put it beside the house and I'm like, this looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not going to paint it black because it was going to be, I was going to leave the size brown around the outer perimeters and then paint black and then peel up the vinyl. So the writing would have been brown because the stain is brown, but it looks nice like this. So I may do another one like that. Who knows? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always making these things. So yeah, but you guys don't really like my some of my wood my crafting videos so i start showing the yard videos and you guys seem to like that so we'll keep it that way but again we do a lot of home di projects and different type of crafting so every now and then you're gonna see this in it okay for the ones who like it if you don't like it you better start like it 
<laughs> just kidding you don't have to like it just move on and go to the next channel all right that's fine so now we're using the last piece we're adding the here that the house was purchased estate and i'm just using the boots boot not the bougie the scroogey again and this is the final piece and look how quick literally guys look how quick that was so if you do not like my price and you go on my facebook page and you see in my youtube video you don't have to buy my sign now please watch the video and make your own sign it's easy it's easy because i've been doing it for a long time but let me tell you the struggle was real at first i can't tell you how much of these things i wrap up and cuss it out and throw it in the garbage and said screw this but then tomorrow i'm right back at it again that's the thing i'm not a fight i'm not a i don't give up i cuss and then i go back to it so it's easy get the, these wood are like four dollars up at the store you could buy these wood there you're not going to get a nice looking pretty sign okay like when you buy the wood that's 25 dollars a piece and 30 dollars and 50 dollars these are eight four dollars a piece so this is what it looks like after i finish add all the decal on and this is why i chose not to paint it because i thought it looks pretty and then if you want you won't get those notches in those woods so anywho's this is my front porch for fall and if you have not seen how i did all of this or seen my video that's going to be popping up in the i card and after this video how i decorate this front porch for fall then you are missing out on life okay you got to go check that out because guess what you're really missing out so maybe you probably won't go want to watch it because you're saying i'm looking at it here so why go watch it but hey there's more details over there so go on over and show the channel some love shana and fiona would appreciate that okay so anywho i feel like i'm showing too much of this we need to get on up to that sign so this is how i put the sign right here because the sign is like four and a half foot tall and i wanted to give it a little bit more height so i put it on if you look carefully i have some planter stand that's made of wood in the bottom so all I did, I kind of put it behind the planter and put it right on that plant stand. And I'm zooming it in so you guys could see where the wood is joined. It, it's not bad. It's for me, it's not bad. It looks perfect with the rest of the decor. And if you haven't seen how I make that front door wreath, that's another one. People reach out and ask the price. You tell them how much it is. They, you could tell they're saying that's a lot of money. But honey, you won't find this in the store. You won't find this. If you find this in the store now, you pay a lot of money. For that in the store or an etsy so you don't have to like my price no just go and watch this video please and make your wreath it's that simple and guess what even if you fuck it up you it's yours you made it that's the best part of doing your own thing and being your own do your own creation because you did that so and if nobody else like it you like it and even if you don't like it it's your hard work <laughs> So go ahead and check out these things and learn how to do them yourself. Okay, so again, this is what my front porch looks like for fall. Of course, I'm showing it off because guess what? I don't invite people or people over, so I have to show it off to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Show it off. And guess what? Again, like I said, I did that. That's the feeling. It's that feeling of I did that. So you could try. You could make this yourself. Now, you may not have a cricket and all of that to create the stencil, but you could go to the store and buy stencil. They sell these at the store. Or you could just freehand, freehand write it in. If you're good at writing, you could freehand that. Like my first wood sign I made way before I got into selling wood sign, I had no stencil. I freehanded it and it looks nice. And I put it up every year for Christmas. It's so old. And it's, I put it up every year for Christmas. The, it's so old where the paint start cracking because it's not exterior paint. I just had some paint from Walmart and I make a sign. So, again, with all, the, all that I've been said, if you make it this far throughout the video, you're the real deal. And again, if you want to see the full tutorial of everything I'm showing you in case you don't want to go, that's why I'm showing you all of this. I did this, okay? It's just an idea. You can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it. And as I always say, and I will always say that you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Until next time, be blessed and bye for now.